this is Psalms chapter 34 verse 19 many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all he keepeth all his bones not one of them is broken evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakudash, the Bonus Star Apostles, that great millstone who rule where the Titus is truth. Peace and love and blessed salutations to your Oculus, Father, by Yahshua, Dawah, Dada, House of David. Uh, this is just a quick one, a uh, quick ex exhortation, as the scriptures say, exhort one another daily. All right. I know, um, like I made a video yesterday. I know it's just not just me, you know, in my spirit going through things. I know brothers are going through a lot of things, too. So, like the scripture just said, many are the, affl the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. And that's faith. All right. The Lord never will put you in a situation. All right. If you are part of the elect that won't be accommodated by him. All right. And let me see. Let me get this right here. This is James chapter one, verse two. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. All right. But let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire when nothing, because at, at the end of the day, you always, when you go through a situation, got to take a step back and look. All right. Look at why this specific situation you're going through or, or look like how it might honestly just benefit you. OK. It might benefit you in the end. You just never know. The Lord could be taking you out of a specific situation to put you in a better one, taking specific people um, out of your out of your uh, life. Because they, they've grown wicked. I mean, look at this world, all right? Wickedness has, wickedness has exceedingly polluted it, all right? He might be taking a, a specific woman out of your life because he's seen something in her, all right? Or that she's doing behind the scenes to her man, to one of his men. So we got to look, look at all these things and count it, count it joy because at the end of the day, this, it, it'll show your faith, okay, in the Lord. Because what's Satan trying to do? Look at our forefather Job. What is Satan trying to do right now to brothers? Make them move to and fro. And this is what this scripture says, uh, James 1 and 6. Uh, 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So even when you ask him for something, like it says in verse 6, ask in faith and not wavering. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh is going to take care of you. But Satan right now. All right. What does it say? Um adversary the devil uh, the lion let me see yeah this is first Peter's 5 and 8 all right it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour so we're in a devouring we're in a, 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 a spot or a place where the spiritual demon Satan is hopping on specific people to, to, to maybe do you wrong or hopping on specific people to, to, to do specific things to you to make you try to waver. Okay, to make you try to rock to and fro to, to take your faith away. But you got to keep pushing and, and trusting your Abba Shemel Shai and have faith. Sometimes, man, you got to get up and just, man... You know, you might have to get up and just do what you got to do. And the Lord will have somebody or some way, somehow, all right, something work out for you to where you, you're not wanting. Okay. And it's a spiritual battle, all right. It's a real deal spiritual battle, man. Let me see. I got one more scripture and I'm going to close out. And I got this picture right here through the spirit. of brother sent it to me. You know, we're, we're crying and sighing. But within us, through the spirit, like the scriptures say, uh, day by day, uh, the spirit is renewed day by day. 
and it's it's not gonna you know how can i say it like i like i said yesterday we're gonna be all right we just you know we go through specific things we're gonna be all right the lord gonna see us through but we just gotta have that faith to push through because even though this little strike ended it, it that don't matter all right this place is still gonna go out we got the elections coming up all right we got specific things that are happening so these people out here are gonna feel it okay laugh now cry later but we're gonna we're, we're crying now we're gonna laugh later this is our first peters 4 and 12 beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but rejoice and as much as ye are partakers of yahweh shah's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceeding joy so there you have it all right shalom